hello everyone so today i am going to explain you arrays and strings in shell script okay so strings in shell scripting in shell scripting strings are represented as a sequence of characters the way we write them the, in the sequence we write them they are represented in that way okay we can assign a string to a variable using this syntax you have to write a variable name without a space you have to add equal to and without giving any space you have to write hello world or any type of message you can print inside an inverted comma and that is your basic syntax now moving on to concatenation property what is this so we can con concatenate strings using a plus operator or by simply placing them side by side see uh, we can add two variables add two strings by using these two properties these two methods and these are like you have to if you want to add them you can place a plus operator or you can simply place them side by side they will be concatenated <clears throat> so for example let us take greeting it's a variable name is equal to and then hello it's message okay it's a string then name is equal to allies we want to concatenate it so we will take a third variable which will be concatenating variable and that will add them up okay that that will add them up so how can we add them we can add them by simply placing them side by side on plus operator so let's just place it side by side so greeting and whenever we are writing our variable name we must remember to use a dollar sign before it then only your terminal your uh, machine will know that you are using a variable here so dollar greeting dollar name and this will add up your string so if we want output so we will write echo space dollar full greeting the third variable which is concatenating variable which will add these upper two variables which were greeting and name okay next next is substring extraction see if we want to take some part out of a string out of a larger string we want to take a small part as a substring we can do that and we can do that by this syntax you have to write dollar curly bracket your variable name colon start colon length and this is the syntax for example if we are writing and if we want a substring so i'll make a string first that is the first thing that you must have a string to take something out of it so you will make a string which is named as string here okay is equal to then i'll add some value to it i'll add some characters some string to it which is hello comma space world exclamation mark and done this was my string and i want to <laughs> take out hello from here i want to take out hello from here so how can i do that i can do that by adding a second variable and by following that proper syntax to extract a portion of a string like substring is equal to i have named this variable as substring substring is equal to dollar without giving any space you have to write dollar then curly bracket then string colon 0 colon 5 so what is 0 here 0 is the index value from where we are starting from where we will be counting okay so 0 is basic index value and what is 5 here colon 5 we have written colon 5 colon 5 is not an index number it is just length it is just length so whenever we are writing 5 it will just count the length like if we are counting from 0th index number so 4th index number till we reach 4th index number our length will become 5 like h e l l o so 0th index at 0th index h is there first place e is there on the second place l third l and 
फोर्थ प्लेस इट इज ओ बट इफ वी काउंट फ्रॉम जीरो देन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर मेक्स फाइव सो दिस इज लेंथ सो यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दैट वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट अ पोर्शन ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग वी विल राइट डॉलर करली ब्रैकेट दैट वेरिएबल नेम ऑफ द मेन स्ट्रिंग ओके एंड देन कोलन एंड यू हैव टू राइट इंडेक्स वैल्यू फ्रॉम वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट एंड कोलन लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट ओके राइट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट यू विल यूज इट देन एको स्पेस डॉलर सब स्ट्रिंग आई हैव टेकन दिस वेरिएबल सब स्ट्रिंग एंड आई विल बी प्रिंटिंग दिस वेरिएबल सब स्ट्रिंग नाउ so this is the extraction uh, property and you can extract any type of uh, substring from a larger string last thing is arrays in shell scripting it is very much similar to string so we have added this arrays in uh, this video too arrays in shell scripting in shell scripting array provide a way to store several values together under a single variable name whenever we want to store multiple values into a single variable we use this array right and you can write you can define an array using this following syntax which is whatever array name you want to write so you will write your variable name there then equal to then parenthesis don't forget to add parenthesis there or it will show error so parenthesis then inverted comma then whatever value you want to take space again whatever value you want to take again whatever value you want to take if you want to take multiple values like 100 values you can take it okay so this was arrays in shell scripting without wasting much time we will move on to practical part now so let's move to the practical part now see we will start from string and then we will go through arrays first i have made a string and array file for you see here they are and we will just check them we will just uh, go through that we will just extract that we will execute that and then we will see what is the output so i have opened my terminal i'll be zooming it for you <coughs> yeah i have zoomed it i have zoomed it now i'll open my first file and before opening my file i know that i have to enter into my shell so i'll enter into my shell using this command this basic command now i am in my shell i have to execute my string and then array so let's see string first let's open it and for opening i have to write nano space string dot sh here basic syntax is written basic first line as we have seen hash exclamation mark slash bin slash pass this is the first line in every shell script file next is concatenation i have not wasted anything uh, to teach you or to explain you this how to add variable or how to add string you know better let's just focus on concatenation that is something unique here we will concatenate using three variables see i have used two variables to enter my message and three variables third variable is my concatenating variable that will add them up so first variable is my greeting and that is hello and second is name variable which is engineer which consists of engineer value okay so greeting has hello string and name variable has engineer as my string and i want to add them so as i said we have two methods to add plus operator and to write side by side we can also concatenate them 
so i have added side by side method here you can also add plus method so full greeting is equal to dollar greeting dollar name without giving any space you have to write it side by side so dollar greeting dollar name what you will get you will get your variables side by side here then echo dollar full underscore greeting okay then substring space extraction now i am extracting a substring from here so what is this you have to use stuff equal to hello comma engineer then substring is equal to dollar stuff whatever stuff you you have then zero then ten what is this stuff equal to hello comma space engineer and then exclamation mark here from this big string i want to take a substring i have to take a substring so i'll i have named my main string as stuff and i have named my substring as substring only okay i want to uh, use this string to take out the values from the main string i want to take a part a small part from the main string so i have used this syntax which was equal to dollar curly bracket stuff colon 0 colon 10 here 0 is my <clears throat> like 0 will uh, tell me the index value and 10 will be telling me my length whatever length i want to print so this is my basic syntax and i have written it you have to write the same then echo space dollar substring and your substring will be printed let's just see the execution of it i have given all the permissions using chmod command string dot sh see hello engineer that was my first thing i have added those strings and my first uh, uh, thing is executed successfully and my second thing was i wanted to take a small substring from a string a large string so i have also executed that perfectly it is executed from the zeroth index value till length 10 see you can uh, also view this you can also uh, verify this like zero at zeroth place h was there first place e was there second place l third l fourth o and on fifth place it was a comma on sixth place i have given a space and seventh place i have entered e eighth place i have written n and then on the ninth place i have written g so this makes the length equal to 10 and here my string is stopped and i have taken out those nine or you say 10 values zero to nine okay so this was the basic thing which shell script supports you can uh, also take out a substring from a uh, larger string another thing let's see array now what is the another thing array so i have made this file array file for you you just have to refer it hash exclamation mark slash bin slash bash then hash array i have commented it array now there are two things i want to explain in this you have to make this array using this command using this syntax sorry fruits is equal to fruits is my array name so fruits equal to parenthesis then i have added four fruit here and i will be executing my fruit name one by one so let me show you that first okay we will see both of these okay first i want to take the values i want to i have added i have make made some changes here i have added four variables four arrays and <clears throat> see i am extracting elements from this array i want to take a value an element out of this array and print that so what i'll do what syntax i'll follow i'll follow echo space dollar curly bracket fruits and then a square bracket 
0 square bracket close curly bracket closed that will print the zeroth index value from my array if I want first index value I will write the same command but in square bracket I will write 1 in the place of 0 and why so because banana if I want to print banana banana is at my first index value so same using same command you can print orange or dragon fruit also now if you want to take length if you want to take length if you want to uh, count that how much longer this array is what is the length of this array what are the length of the elements used in this array so that is four here because i have added four uh, elements in this array so every element will be counted and your length will be printed like apple banana orange and dragon fruit, fruit they, these are four elements in this array so my length will be four but let's see the syntax for length so i have written length is equal to it's a variable name and nothing else length is equal to dollar and then curly bracket hash fruits hash fruits this will take out the length hash will take out the length okay hash is used to take out the length and then fruits and in square bracket I have used at the rate why it is used because at the rate or star you can also add star here okay at the rate or star will just take all the elements it will count all the elements if you want to print all the elements at once without using echo command multiple times you can add star there and that will print whole array for you okay that will take out all the elements and that will print your whole elements for you so this is what i wanted now i'll save it using control x command y saved now i'll execute it dot slash array dot sh and i'll save it see apple banana orange were my three values that i expected and this is my length length of the array in uh, length of the elements in the array and that that was four and i have got it successfully so this was the basic tutorial and i wanted to explain you these things strings and arrays to you and i hope you have uh, learned this very clearly you have a better understanding now how can we use string how can we concatenate through it how can we take out a substring from a string and how can we use arrays in shell script so that's all for today thank you for watching this video like this video and please subscribe our channel